Hello everyone, greetings from Fedpro team. Today we are going to see a demo on how to configure multi website feature in Fedpro. So let's get started with starting the server. I'm just creating a database which is a blank database. It's creating Fedpro multi site demo database. Once you create the database, I'm just going to start the server with the website module installed and initialized. So just creating the database and along with this uh, you need to also keep in mind that you always have to give the database filter without that this feature will not work so database filter the same way it's database name and then I'm installing the module which is of website module so till the time this installation completes uh, let's jump how to configure other stuff which is also required for this I'm just changing my user to root and first thing that I've done in my local machine because it's a local machine I have just changed my etc host entry so I have created two subdomains one is india.flectra.com another one is usa.flectra.com if you are using it in a live environment you just need to create DNS entries but because I'm using it on my local machine I'm just creating the entries in etc host now, uh, apart from this, uh, you need to have a reverse proxy which is nginx. So, if you see, I have just installed nginx. This is the default context of nginx or default, I would say, configuration of nginx. Now, till the time this installation completes, as you can see, it's in progress. Uh, let, let's just let it finish and uh, now we can access the system uh, just localhost 7073 which is default port for Flectra so I'm just going to access the system the first installation that has been completed it's loading and it's because it's installing the modules I think it's going to take some more seconds and it's yeah it's there now go to my chrome window and just reload here it is i'm able to access the system and as you can see i'm just accessing it using localhost 7073 uh, and my system is running normally there is nothing uh, no other configuration yet done i'm just signing in admin admin which is default system is logging me in now I will start the system into a debug mode but before that you can see the website which is localhost I'm just going to turn the debug mode on. So I'm just going to activate the developer mode and I go to the website menu. In the website menu, there is a configuration for websites, and you can see there is a one default website which is localhost. So now I'm going to change that domain name to the site that I want to keep, which is india.flectra.com. I'm just going to keep the domain name which I need and uh, just the website name this is just the website name which will be shown on the top I'm just saving it and this is my default website so uh, if there is no website or no other domain name this will be the default I'm also creating another website which is called USA Flectra so USA.flectra.com I'm just going to save this domain as well now if I go to my Qweb views. I can see two websites. One is India Flectra. One is USA Flectra. Both will have similar pages, and uh, some of the pages will be copied from the main, which is default uh, India. Uh, so now let's let's see. Now I'm going to access the site, so which will be india.flectra.com colon. 7073 yes i'm going to use direct access to the system which is india.flectra.com colon 7073 which 
and now I'm going to access the US side which is usa.flectora.com colon 7073 now you can see I can access both the sites and on the top there is the USA Flectra written and on the Indian side it's called India Flectra so clearly those two sites are separate and I'm able to access it but let's try to customize things and see how it works uh, for both of the sites whether they mix up or not so I'm just going to log into the site and uh, I'm just going to the website and for that I'm going to start the customization so just going to edit the website it will open up the snippet bar just going to drag and drop one snippet which is any any snippet so I'm just going to turn it up the big image snippet I'm just going to change the image possibly which is more relevant to India so I'm just uploading an image of Indian Prime Minister and just going to save it yeah. and as you can see I just uploaded the image and uh, it's for the Indian site if I go to the US site and if, even if I refresh the page because the sites are separate no image will be shown over here so let's customize the US website as well I'm just logging in into the USA website and going to customize that as well so going to the website editing the website Just going to add similar big picture and I'm going to change the image, upload an image of US president. Okay, Let's save it and yeah. so on the US website there is an image of US president, on the Indian website there is an image of Indian Prime Minister. So you can see clearly two sites are different, they works on different pages. Even if you are logged in on one site, uh, you will not be able to log in, in or you will not parallelly logged in into the second site. So the two site sessions are also separated as well. Now if I want to add let's say another site or third site after creating two sites, you can always do that as well. So I'm just going to add one more site. Uh, sorry for that. I need to enable the debug mode again. So I'm just going to enable the debug mode from settings. Let's enable the debug mode website, and I'm going to create another website which is. Flectra for Russia or Russia Flectra. Yeah. So Russia Flectra. That's the domain is Russia.flectra.com and yeah. let's save it. Now when we create a website which is created after creating multiple sites or a master site, this website will always copy the pages default from the default website. So if I say russia.flectra.com this won't open up directly unless I give the port number so it's 7073 is the port number even after that it will not open up. Why? Because I don't have the entry for the DNS for the site so I'm going to create a DNS entry for the site as well I'm just going to edit my etc host so where am etc host and I'm just going to create another entry for russia.flectra.com so whenever you are creating multiple sites always make sure you have proper DNS entries I just created it now I refresh it so now you can see I have my russia.flectra.com but it copied the content or the page contents of the default website which was india.flectra.com so, so it will always copy the default website's content 
So now in order to again customize this site, you have to modify it based on your requirements. So I'm just going to sign in into the Russia.flatpro.com. And I'm going to modify the site. So I'm going to edit the picture again, just change the picture or the image. I'm just going to add the relevant image. Yep, and that's it. So now you can see the site has. There are three different sites that we have created and there are three different pages but still if you see there is the port number behind the website which is not so nice thing to have on the website. So in order to do avoid this we are going to create some reverse proxy entries. This is the default nginx reverse proxy where you can see I have given the server name as underscore so you can give either a wildcard server name which is underscore which will accept all the domain name or you can give the specific domain names into your server name so I'll just give the russia.flectra.com, india.flectra.com or usa.flectra.com so these are three of my domains which I have given so either I can give underscore which will accept all or I can give the specific ones I am keeping it a wildcard one or open one and one more important header settings that you have to do is the proxy set header host dollar host this will tell plectra that this is the host that you have to serve for this request if you don't have this entry in your config file of nginx chances that your multi website will not work properly i'm just going to create an nginx conf file just going to paste the content and now i'm just going to restart or sorry I'm just going to link the site first I'm just going to remove default linking the reflectra config in sites enable let's restart the nginx and uh, that's it so now if I go to my browser and remove the port number from the URL I'll be getting the same site see russia.flectra.com without the port number for any of the site i can again have the same so let's let's close all the other windows and uh, start again so if i say india.flectra.com without the port number and it will open the indian site if i say usa.flectra.com it will open up the same site as well and if i say russia.flectra.com Swing open the Russian side. So yeah, this way you can configure your own multiple domains without uh, much of a trouble. Just create proper nginx configuration and proper DNS entries, and rest will be taken care of by Flectra. So as you can see, we can also create custom menus for each of the sites. So I'm just creating one menu which will be only available for one of the sites. So just say I'm creating one menu called Contact Mr. Modi. URL okay, contact Mr. Modi and I'm going to put this menu in Indian website on the, on the top menu okay, just save it and if I go to the page refresh it uh, you can see this menu is available on Indian website but the same will not be available in uh, USA or Russia website So this way there is a quite good separation of data views uh, in this multi-domain feature of Flectra. I hope that you will uh, give it a try as well and you share your feedback about the feature. You can always uh, reach us on our forums which is at discuss.flectrahq.com or you can reach our repository as well. So now let's see how we can use a different themes for each of the website in Flectra. So I'm just going to go to the website settings. So just turning on the debug mode and go to
to the website. I'm just going to go to the website settings. Uh, for Indian website, uh, we have a couple of themes made, which is theme art, theme tag receptives, and some default themes. I'm just going to select one theme, which is theme tag receptives. I'm just going to apply or save that theme for the website. And uh, once that is the theme is installed, uh, you'll be able to see the effect of the theme. So it's just installing and applying the theme. Now it's done. Now let's go to the website and just clicking on the site going to the website so now you can see the font and the color settings has been changed as well i can do the further customization from uh, customize theme option so i can choose the fonts that i would like and uh, possibly the color uh, which suits my need so i'm just going to apply that so you can see the font and the color combination has been changed now for the us site there is no uh, theme applied yet and it's just a plain uh, website now so let's change that as well so i'm just going to go to the settings for the website and apply a theme for this website as well so just go to the settings select the usa website and choose the theme that you would like to apply. So I'm just going to select theme art. So these two themes are default available in Flectra, which is one is theme art and one is theme tech receptives. These two themes are by default available in Flectra. Just applying the theme and now this theme is applied. So just going to the USA website and refresh the page and you can see the font and the color combination has been changed so just signing in for doing the further customization so admin admin and i'm in the site just going to the website home page and now I'm going to do further customization for color and fonts and then you can see the, the font selection and the color selection is again different for this theme as well so I can choose the best colors and uh, fonts according to my needs and you can see I have changed the color which is now orange and this is applied and on the Indian website uh, I have my purple colored website which is uh, based on the taste or the needs of mine so now I can even add any custom blocks as well and this custom blocks will be also uh, designed or I would say come from the custom theme or will have the, the effect of the default or the, the theme that you have applied I would say so as you can see in this blocks the buttons are also same to the main color of the website so all the settings or all the snippets will auto adjust itself based on the theme that you have selected. So here you can see uh, if I add one more layout or a, a block, if I see the buttons, this again is changed as per the theme design or themes, color combination and font combination. So that's how you can utilize the multiple themes of Flectra, create multiple websites in one single database. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you.